Okay, now we're going to show you some other spindles um, that are also included with the kit and what their functions are. So what this spindle is, is this spindle is made to go through your trunnion and then thread into the front of the full length copper welding mandrel. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to weld your trunnion in place in the receiver and have it completely parallel with the bulk carrier group rails. The full length copper mandrel, you insert it in reverse into the rear, like so. And then for here, we would have our trunnion. And then what you would do is you'd take this spindle here, which is a three trunnion support. So what it does is this goes through the trunnion and interfaces with the mandrel itself. So providing it completely locked in. And because the mandrel is locked into the rails, it will now lock this in uh, at a completely um, parallel path. So insert it through the front of the... Okay, now that we have this in place, it's actually going straight through the receiver into the mandrel. And then it's aligning the trunnion with the receiver rails themselves. So you go ahead and place the alternate insert in. All right, so here it is all set up for welding in the front trunnion. And then again, it's gonna be completely parallel with your um, bull carrier rails. So this, this actual spindle is designed to be able to go in and support the front of the trunnion when it's actually welded into the receiver. So if you have it welded in already and you still need to support the weapon for, for uh, further work, it's easy for it to support the front end of the weapon. Okay, and then uh, one of the final set of spindles are the spindles for supporting the front of the barrel. Um, so when your weapon is completely built and you, you want to be able to support it to weld up the caulking tube or what have you, um, you have uh, the 762, you have the 556 spindle, and you have the nine millimeter spindle. So for this one is a 556 barrel. It goes in, you would have it actually placed into the front. I'll go ahead and set this up to where you can actually see it uh, fully supported. Okay, so now we went ahead and reconfigured the base with the middle length panel for a full length, well, SBR length uh, weapon. And it's completely supported by the front spindles as well as supported by the rear uh, short copper mandrel. It allows you to do additional things like welding in the caulking tube, um, you know, and uh, just all the front end work and top work that you have to do. That's it.